Welcome back ladies and gents. In this particular teaching video, I'll be looking at 6.2 horizontal and vertical components. 6.2 represents chapter 6, section 2 of the Pearson A-Level Maths Applied Maths Year 2 textbook. I'm going to start this teaching video by going through three scenarios of modelling the horizontal and vertical components for the initial velocity of a projectile, or you could say particle. Let's have a look at scenario 1. So you have a horizontal ground. You have a point O on the horizontal ground. Here is the particle. The initial velocity is u meters per second, forming an angle alpha above the horizontal. Here is the pathway of the particle. It strikes the ground at the point A. We have acceleration due to gravity acting vertically downwards, and that is g meters per second per second. For this initial velocity, we can form a right angle triangle. Put in the arrows. Over here, the horizontal component will be u cos alpha. Over here, the vertical component will be u sin alpha. This is the adjacent, this is the opposite. So, ux, the horizontal component is u cos alpha. uy, the vertical component is u sin alpha. We can form a vector for the initial velocity. This will be u cos alpha i plus u sine alpha j. Okay, let's have a look at scenario two. We've got horizontal ground, a point O above the horizontal ground. Here is the particle. The initial velocity is u meters per second. This is the pathway of the particle. It strikes the ground at the point A. We have acceleration due to gravity acting vertically downwards g meters per second per second. Now this initial velocity forms an angle alpha above the horizontal. We can form a right angle triangle, put in the arrows and find the horizontal and vertical components. So this will be u cos alpha, this would be u sine alpha. Adjacent and opposite. Okay so ux, the horizontal component, is u cos alpha ui the vertical component is u sine alpha now the initial velocity you can write it as a vector so u squiggle is equal u cos alpha i plus u sine alpha j right now let's move on to scenario three so here is scenario three we have a horizontal ground a point O above the horizontal ground. This is the particle. The initial velocity is u meters per second. Here is the pathway of the particle. It strikes the ground at the point A. We have acceleration due to gravity acting vertically downwards, g meters per second per second. Now this initial velocity, ladies and gents, forms an angle alpha below the horizontal. We can form a right angle triangle put in the arrows. This component will be u cos alpha and this component will be minus u sine alpha. Okay, because it's going downwards. Right, so ux, the horizontal component, is u cos alpha. Uy, the vertical component, is minus u sine alpha. We can write the initial velocity as a vector, u squiggle, which will be u cos alpha I minus u sine alpha j. Let's have a look at example one. A particle is projected from a cliff top with an initial velocity of 18 meters per second at an angle of 20 degrees below the horizontal. Part A, find the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. Part B, express the initial velocity as a vector in the form pi plus qj meters per second. Okay, ladies and gents, I'm going to draw a diagram to model this scenario. So what we have is a horizontal ground, then we have a cliff top. We can call this point O. Here is the particle. It is projected at 18 meters per second. Okay, this is the pathway of the particle. It will strike the ground at this point, we can call it A. Now, the initial velocity forms an angle of 20 degrees below the horizontal. We can form a right angle triangle, put in the arrows. 
And what we notice is that over here, this component will be 80 cos 20 degrees. And this component will be minus 18 sine 20 degrees. Okay, so we have that ux is equal to 18 cos 20 degrees. And if we put this into our calculator, we get 16.9 meters per second to three significant figures. Uy, the vertical component will be minus 18 sine 20 degrees. And if we put this into our calculator, we get minus 6.2 meters per second to three significant figures. So for part A, we've got our answers, ux, the horizontal component of the initial velocity is 16.9 meters per second. Uy, the vertical component of the initial velocity is minus 6.2 meters per second. Right, so let's have a look at part B. Express the initial velocity as a vector in the form pi plus qj meters per second. Right, so that's not a problem. We have that u squiggle is going to be 16.9 i minus 6.2 j meters per second. Okay, so that there, ladies and gents, completes example one. Here is example two. A particle is projected from a point on level ground with an initial velocity of 35 meters per second at an angle alpha above the horizontal where tan alpha is equal to 5 over 12. Part A, find the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. Part B, express the initial velocity as a vector in terms of i and j. First of all, ladies and gents, whenever you have a trig involved, you need to form a right angle triangle. So we can form a right angle triangle over here. So we have tan alpha is equal 5 over 12, which is um, opposite over adjacent. So we can label this on the right angle triangle. We've got opposite 5 and we've got adjacent 12. We can use Pythagoras theorem to work out the hypotenuse and that will be 13. So sine alpha is equal opposite over hypotenuse. That would just be 5 over 13. Cos alpha, ladies and gents, is equal adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be 12 over 13. Right, okay, now in part A, we want to find the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. I'm going to model the scenario using a diagram. Very, very important. It makes the solution so much more easier. So here is my diagram. We've got horizontal ground. Here is the particle. We can call this point O. The initial velocity is uh, 35 meters per second, forming an angle alpha above the horizontal ground. Here is the pathway of the particle. It will strike the ground at the point A. We have acceleration due to gravity acting vertically downwards. That is g meters per second per second. Right, now, for this initial velocity, we can form a right angle triangle. Put in our arrows. This component over here will be 35 cos alpha, and this component will be 35 sine alpha. Right, now, um, the horizontal component, ux, is 35 cos alpha. So that would be 35 multiplied by 12 over 13. So 35 multiplied by 12 over 13 is 32.3 meters per second. Okay, now ui is going to equal 35 sine alpha. So 35 multiplied by sine alpha, which was 5 over 13. If we multiply this together, we get 13.5 meters per second. So in part A, we now have the horizontal and vertical components of the initial velocity. So ux is equal to 32.3 meters per second and uy is equal to 13.5 meters per second. In part b, we want to express the initial velocity as a vector in terms of i and j. Well, that's straightforward. You have u squiggle is equal 
32.3 i plus 13.5 j meters per second. Okay, so that's the answer for part B. U squiggle is equal 32.3 i plus 13.5 j meters per second. And that there, ladies and gents, completes example two. Here is the final example, example number three. A particle is projected with initial velocity u squiggle equal to 6i plus 9j meters per second. Find the initial speed of the particle and its angle of projection. So the initial speed is calculated by taking the magnitude of the velocity vector. So we have square root 6 squared plus 9 squared. Right, so if I put this into my calculator, I get 10.8 meters per second to free significant figure. To find the angle of projection, we can actually draw the initial velocity vector. So we have angle of projection alpha. This is the initial velocity vector which is 6i plus 9j. So we have a right angle triangle. The opposite is 9 and the adjacent is 6. So tan alpha is equal opposite over adjacent. So that will be 9 over 6. Hence alpha is equal tan inverse of 9 over 6. If we put this into our calculator, we get 56.3 degrees to three significant figures. If you found this video useful, like always, please don't forget to subscribe.